Time for our last cash condensing for 2023. Welcome to Budget of Oz. My name's Sarah, a disabled low-income budgeter, and today we're going to be doing we're going to be condensing our sinking funds binders and possibly our savings challenge binder um, for the end of 2023. And we're going to be using our placeholders. So if you've been here a while, you would have seen this design on paper. Um, I've now made it with vellum and laminated it and so I've got some fives, tens, twenties, fifty, one hundred and these are all the same colors that the Australian notes come in and then I've made a five hundred and a thousand as well as a fully funded all of these designs are available on my Etsy. You can just download um, the design, pay for it once, print as many times as you want. I also have some wonderful gifted placeholders from Caro Cash. She was so nice to gift me some placeholders as well as a fully funded slip also gifted from Caro Cash. So um, yeah, we're going to just kind of get into it. Um, hopefully you will, um, it might be a bit of a long one, but I hope you like it. Um, and yeah, I'm probably gonna combine the thousands and fully funded just so I've got somewhere to put the cash and we'll count it all at the end, of course. So I'm just going to move this so you can still kind of see it. But I have enough room for the binder here. So actually I'm going to start off with our long-term sinking funds. I'm also going to be replacing any of my old placeholders with new ones. So for emergency fund... We're going to replace the 500 with one of mine. And then we're going to put the 330. We're going to back that. So one, two, three, 20, 30. So it should be, oh, sorry. I've only got a small space to film. So I'm trying to like get every, everything in the shop. So we should have 500 and, sorry, 830. So let me get this in better order for you all. So five, six, seven, eight, 20, 30. So 830 dollars in the emergency account. And again, all the cash is just gonna go there. We'll leave the leftovers one there. For our excess, it's fully funded. And um, so I'm going to use Caro Cash's um, 1500 and fully funded here because it's going to stay. <laughs> um, typically, this is for the house and the car excess. Typically, I don't have to dip into this um, often. So the best thing is it's going to stay here and every time I flip through we're going to see it, which is great. Now, a month ahead, let's see how much we have in here. So we have $30. So we'll do a 20 and a 10 to make 30. And we will pop that in there. All right. We will put that there. So that's the condensing for our high priority sinking funds. Now let's go over to our disability life binder. So medications is for me is more like a cash envelope. So I tend to want to keep it in cash though I'm going to see if we can condense some of it in. I might come back to this at the end. Doctors though we can condense. So we have 
50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200 dollars. So we'll just put 200 dollars into doctors, carers. All right, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 192, to 5, to 10, to 15, to 20, to 25, to 30. So 230. So we will do 1, 2, 20, 30. So 230 for carers. Oops. Mental health, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. So we have 100 there. Physical therapy. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 80 dollars. So we'll get a 50, 70, 80. Into physical therapy. We'll put the money over here. All right. Hospital access is fully funded and it's five hundred dollars so let's give it a count one two fifty three twenty forty sixty eighty four twenty forty sixty seventy eighty nine eighty five ninety ninety five five hundred okay so we're going to put the all the placeholders to the side we will put the money over here We'll put a 500 and a fully funded slip right there. Okay, medical equipment. Let's have a look. So 50, 70, 90, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. So 180 dollars. So 150, 70, 80. So 150, 70, 80 goes there. Put that there, and then medical buffer. We have one fifty, seventy, ninety, two, ten, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. So two hundred and fifty dollars. So one hundred, two hundred. That's my disability life by notes. Actually, we'll see if we can condense the notes in here. So medication is 50, 70, 90, 2, 2, 20, 40, 60, 70. So so 170, not 270. So 170. So 150, 70. There we go, 170. So we try and condense the bigger notes whenever we can, if we can, of course. All right, those hundreds are just so hard to get in. All right. Okay, so we're now going to go on to my heart or my peoples. 
But first, Diet Coke Cheers. <sighs> All right. So let's uh, check and see how much Emily's got. 1, 2, 50, 70, 90, 3, 10, 3, 30, 3, 40, 3, 45, 3, 50. So she has a 350. So 1, 2, 350. So 350 into Emily. Chloe has 100, 200, 300, 350, 400, 450, 500, 20, 40, 50. So she has 550. So 550 going into Chloe. It's getting a bit full. Come on. Okay, Elizabeth, we have one hundred fifty two hundred fifty three hundred. 50, 400, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. So she has 450. So let's look at that. So one, two, three, four, 50. Okay, so 450 for Elizabeth. So Matt has 1, 2, 50, 3, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80. So 380. So 1, 2, 3, 50, 70, 80. Okay. 380 for Matt. Duke and Mira, they have 1, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, so 150 for them, my beautiful doggies. have 50 70 80 dollars so 50 70 80 and birthdays have 1, 20, 40, 45, 50. So 150. Okay. Alright, so there's the condensed wallet for my peoples or my heart binder. Alright, now let's go to self. Okay, wardrobe, let's 
a look. So we have 55. So 55 goes in there. Treat. Has 20, 25, 30, 35. So 20, 35. That's got 35, which is great. Okay, education has 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 80 dollars. So 50, 70, 80. Fabulous 40 is 500, 600, 700, Travel has five, six, seven, twenty, thirty. So seven thirty. So five, six, seven. And I think I'm going to keep the thirty in cash. So. Are running out of our denominations. Oh, no, I should still be able to do it. I'll just do two fives. 20. So we have 5, 6, 7, 20, 25, 30, 7, 30. Okay, and weekend. Twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty dollars. That's just two forties, two twenties. I mean, and that's our that's our self binder condensed. All right, and the last one is home. Okay, let's have a look at the home binder. So car has 150 70 80 85 90 95 200 so 1 200 so 200 into car all right let's put that here house has 20 30 so 20, 35. Okay. <laughs> More 20s or 10s. This should be interesting. Okay. Technology has uh, very messy bills. <laughs> Let's fix that first. Okay. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 1, 10, 20, 30. <laughs> nope, that's not how you count, Sarah. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 
So 125. So 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 25. So 25, yeah. So 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, yeah. Hopefully we'll be able to. Condense all of this. <laughs> we're almost. We're almost there. Okay, so one fifty, seventy, eighty, ninety, ninety-five, two, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. So two twenty. Well, I know I can do the two hundred. And we can just leave a 20. Or do I want to leave another category cash in my in my disability binder? Maybe I want to keep the carers as cash. We'll go back and have a look at that. Okay, so home reno. We have one. 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. So we can do again the 150 and keep the 20. Okay, 150, keep the 20. And then we have Costco which is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. That's a straight 100, which makes that easy. So I'm going to see if there's another, um, if there is another category in carers I might want to keep cash because I keep medications. And I think I might want to keep carers as cash as well. Just because oh, maybe medical equipment. I feel like it's useful to have some of this category in cash. So I think I'm going to put $30 back in cash for carers. Because sometimes, like, I do use this sometimes more as a cash envelope than I do a sinking funds it's like a bit of both really and then I think also for medical equipment it's useful to have because sometimes like I'm out of the pharmacy and I think yeah having $30 of that as well in cash also helps with having because sometimes I'm out at the pharmacy, I see something that will be useful. Like one of my new canes is green, which is totally super makes me happy. It's great for my mental health. So <laughs> buying that was definitely a thing. Let's go back into home and see if we can replace those 20s now. We should be able to. Why is there a $10 note in here? Oh, right, home right now. <laughs> That's meant to be. All right, so we'll put those two, take a 20, there we go. And we'll do the same for repair buffer. And there we are. So that's all the sinking funds. That's all the sinking funds condensed. I'm going to, I think what I want to do is have a look at, I think maybe what I want to do next is I'm going to get rid of these. And this is the best thing about cash stuffing. Like I designed these and printed them off on standard paper myself. I've not had the money to go buy anyone else's stuff. The first thing I bought ever has been Caro Cash, other than the binders, has been Caro Cash's stuff. And 
I'm really looking forward to using it this year. I haven't had the money. And that's the thing. When you're starting out, you see all these cash stuffers on the internet who have been doing it for years and who have all this money to do these things. You can just print it off on normal paper. And I've been doing this since March. I've just finally upgraded to printing it on see-through paper and laminating it. But even this took me a while to do. So it's okay. <laughs> like, just print it on paper. And I used it for paper and it worked completely fine. I've just fi been finding it like with my cash counting, it's been annoying me and the texture's just an ick for me. So I've decided to kind of get rid of this. Let me know if you think I should donate the ones I have to someone in Australia. Um, I don't know if anyone would want them. They're not fantastic quality. But if there is a cash stuffer out there in Australia who's like, hey, yes, I would love these, you know, I guess I can put them in an envelope and mail them to you. It won't really cost me that much money. Um, let me know. Like, I don't think you would want these. But if you think I should, let me know in the comments down below. Um, okay, so what I'm thinking of is I'm going to take the remainder placeholders out. Keep them around, of course, because they are always useful. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a I think I want to see if I can condense anything in my savings challenge binder first. Okay, we're going to see if I can condense some of the bills in my savings challenges. $5, no. Let's have a look at the 52 week. Alrighty. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to condense some of this. Well, probably a lot of this actually, because yo. Can here, go there, go there. All right, let's give this a count and see what we can do. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. So 185. So 150. 70, 80, 5, 185 dollars goes in there. This is going to go in here. All right, and then the health savings challenge. Let's see how much we have. So we only have 20 in there. We can confirm that. Okay. Alright, so that's all our condensing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to sort the money because I can't count it unless it sorts. So let's do some sorting. I have no idea how much this is going to be to go back to the bank. I kind of imagine it's going to be a lot, but Let's just see. I don't know. Like, I have no idea. Okay. Put your guess down below how much you think it's going to be. If you've been here for a while, you would have seen me doing a few. No, why is that? See, I'm already messing it up. I'm putting tens in the five box. How's that work? Comment down below what you think um, it will be. See if you can guess right. Be interesting to see who can guess right. And try not to spoil it for everyone else. Don't put the actual number in. See if, see if they can guess it. It's always a fun game I love to play. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I hope my, like cash trade can handle all of these fives there's a lot of five dollar notes 
that's the thing with like low income cash stuffing you use a lot of five dollar notes um just because like sometimes i'm stuffing five dollars in to one category um every month because that's all the money i have is five dollars and so i actually think i'm gonna give the fives two slots because there are so many of them <laughs> um yeah because sometimes i have like all i have is five dollars to give a category in a month and so i'm literally just putting five dollars into certain categories every month but that's also how you use the cash the zero base bu budget on a low income you give five dollars to a thing once a month and that's okay if that's all the money you've got then that's what you do a little bit goes a long way and it adds up like just look at this a little bit every single week every fortnight every month adds up and this is going to make, I imagine, a lot of money. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a lot of money. Um, to go back to the bank, to then go sit into my accounts and start to earn some interest, which is also a really good passive way to earn money when you're cash stuffing. You just have to make sure you're going to put it in an account that you're not going to touch. And that. Like for myself, I um, bank with the Combank. So I put this money and it's going to end up in a net bank um, account. So it's an online account that you can't access with your card. Means you're not going to be able to withdraw any of the money um, or tap any of the money away. I have to actively go in and transfer the money to my cards. So that way I'm less likely to whimsic whimsically and randomly spend it wow so that's my cash tray that is the fullest i think i've ever seen my cash tray ever um okay we're gonna count i think it would be best to count using a calculator um yeah i think we'll do it this way this time okay so one two three four five six six hundred Fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, fifty four, fifty five, fifty six, fifty seven, seven hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty one, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty two, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty three, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty four, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. 5, 20, 40, 60, 80, 6, 20, 40, 60, 80, 7, 20, 40, 60, 80, 8, 20, 40, 60, 80, 9, 9. Oh my goodness. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, two, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, three, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, four, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, five. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 600. Okay, that's a lot. All right, let's do the fives in two lots. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. 5, 10, 
15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, Okay, a random 20, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 100 plus that 20, put that over here, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So in total, we have $3,375 going back to the bank. That is a lot of money. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, my God, that's amazing. Oh, let's actually have a look at it all because this is so much money. Um, yeah, this is um, how much money I have essentially saved in my sinking funds um, over six months. The last time I did this was the end of June um, and then I did 1600 so I doubled it <laughs> too. Um, and things as I was in hospital and I had to spend like a lot of money on emergency equipment and I've had to spend a lot of money on other things. And I've not had a lot of money to cash stuff the last two months. I am amazed. This is so amazing. I am so glad that I was able to keep to my goals and keep doing this and chipping it away bit by bit. And this is fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic that I can be this, this, like, this stable with my finances when I saw the cash budgeting method I used to think it was absolutely impossible for someone on a low income for someone with disabilities that it was impossible to do because I have a whole extra binder on top of my cash wallet of essential things that I have to budget for every week my categories are so complex and there's so much more I have to budget for as essentials that how was I ever going to be able to even have budget binders, even have a savings challenge? But I was able to do it by just a little bit at a time. Five dollars, just five dollars a month into a sinking fund category or five dollars a month into a savings challenge and then being able to do five dollars a week and this also doesn't count my coin jar i haven't even counted my coin jar yet i just wanted to get this done for the end of the year so this is done for the end of the year i'm not sure if i want to continue my coin jar up until it's completely full um or if i'm going to count it and then I don't really want to cash stuff, start cash stuff into the new year with all the condensed binders. And I'm going to do a binder reset. You'll see that. But yeah, um, this is just amazing. I can't believe this works so well. I am so thrilled. And I thought that definitely with all the money I had to rearrange and all of the expenses I had to um like pay out because of that emergency hospitalization 
that I wouldn't I would be far far behind but I'm not um so this is great I hope you enjoyed watching this um if you like my content um and please leave a like leave a comment answer some of the questions I've asked throughout this video if you're here at the end and you're not subscribed please hit that subscribe button you'll get more content like this and you'll get more information about low income budgeting in Australia and disabled budgeting in Australia so if that is you subscribe just subscribe and you can follow me on my journey I also have a TikTok and Instagram. I'm just Budget of Oz everywhere. And I'm also Budget of Oz on Etsy, where you can find those placeholders. Um, I hope everyone has a great Christmas. Um, there'll be a few more videos until the end of the year. But um, thanks so much for watching. Bye. <music>